Okay, welcome to part two of the trip journal. Uh, we're going to decorate the cover and I'm going to be using the um, inspiration prompt list that um, we did in Gene Stream this week. And what I've done is, um, let me get my screen set back up here. Okay. There we go. All right, so uh, I'm going to concentrate on the outside. Okay, so I want to decorate the outside, and I have no idea what this is going to look like, so we're just going to go with it. And I'm zoomed out as far as I can, so you can see the whole cover. Okay, and we'll see how this is going to work out. Let me. I'm going to fix that wonkiness. I'm a perfectionist, guys. I got to fix that wonky cut. But part one of this of today's um, stream is on how to make the book itself and how to make the cover that I've got right here. So y'all can go watch that if you want to know how to do that. All right. So uh, what I've done is I have um, newsprint down underneath. I've been using newsprint. I love using the newsprint. It's so much fun. Um. Oh, did I snack it? Oh, good idea. Okay, hang on, I got a bar. Let me go over here. <laughs> I probably should have done that before I started the recording. But that's okay, because I still have to gather a couple of things on screen. So let me take a bite here while I'm gathering. What I've done is I've printed, I've um, written, okay, I've gone to uh, random.org and there's a bunch of numbers and tens, and I'm just going to randomly pick one of these and use it. Okay, so I've cut them into strips, and they're on a post-it notepad, so they're sticky at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to use that one. Okay, so I'll just pick one up and use it. And uh, I had a little piece of oh here it is. I was going to use this to stick on to. So I'm going to stick this on, and then I'm going to cover it with post-it note so I can just slide it down and I can't read ahead okay <laughs> okay so there's my numbers all right and then I will mark through it with an orange pencil when I get it done and then here's my list okay I'm gonna turn it over because I don't want to be reading it okay all right so let me see. Hmm. Okay, the first number is 125. Now, my list is probably different from yours because I modified it a little bit, so my numbers are going to be different. I took out the foot thing. I will not be drawing anything with my foot <laughs> ever. <laughs> so I took that out. I also changed. Um, where it says emboss, and one of them says emboss, I don't like to heat emboss, so I have changed that. I will put, I will do dry embossing or faux embossing, which means I will use a clear gel pen for faux embossing if I really, really need to do embossing. So, because I really hate heat embossing, it's just too messy, and I never get it to come out right. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so my first number is 125, so I'm going to flip that. Well, I know that's at the end of this back page, so I'm going to flip that over. Use splots. Hmm. Okay. Use splots. Let me move this to the back and keep it turned over. Splots. Okay. First, I need some paint. <laughs> Okay, here's a tool caddy I've been using. I have oh, there's some white paint in here. Okay. Shake it up a little bit now. I'm not sure which acrylic paint this is. And also, it doesn't say what to splot with. I've also got some gesso in one of these little dauber bottles. Okay. 
let's see what else have I got this is distress paint picket fence well, white 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 okay I don't have anything up here to splot with except this so let's go with that and then I will look for I have some more paint bottles I can look for that while I chew <laughs> I know I have more Dauber bottles my granddaughter loves to splot so I know I have more paint in splot form <laughs> hmm. some gold some silver There we go. Okay, pull out some of these. I didn't realize I had so many of those. I think I have more sprays than paint. <laughs> mm, okay, so let me shake these up while I finish chewing. Did you put that one in, Jonna? <laughs> oh, okay, Jean. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hold on, Jean. <laughs> Too funny. Now, I haven't used these in a while, so I don't know how much good this shaking is doing. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh man, my shoulders are getting a workout today. Hmm, already. Okay, so, splots. Okay, I'm gonna try not to splot the computer. So, I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. I don't even know if these things are viable. And I will try not to bump the camera. See, they may be too dried up to even do this. I'm not getting anything. I'm squeezing and I'm not getting anything. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's try to find one that's going to work. Nope. Not happening. Okay, well, let's go with the white and get something on this paper. I think those are too thick anyway, and I think those sponge things are dried up and it's just not going not gonna to work. That doesn't even have a Dauber top. Wait, I gotta dig down for a dauber top. Oops. I gotta move a couple things. I got some Kathy Orta kits down here in boxes that are in front of my drawer. <laughs> I'm gonna put the trash can back up there. There. Okay. So I've got these. There's the sponge parts. Got a bunch of these little bottles from, I think it's from that science supply place. I think. So, put those down on the floor. Put those away later. So, let me go ahead and put the top on. Now, this is a fresh, brand new one, so it should work just fine. Provided I can get it in. Uh oh. What's the problem? Oh, okay. Hang on, I gotta get the uh, something to scrape this paint out with. I don't even have a skewer up here. Hmm. Use them all apparently. Okay, go to the drawer for a skewer. Okay, so I can scrape this paint out of the way of the little sponge thingy. Hopefully that was the problem. I really have weak fingers. I don't usually put these in when it's got paint inside. So let me see if I can get it in there. Whew. There it goes. All right. Success. Ha! Ah, got it. Of course now there's white paint everywhere. <laughs> Okay, not worrying about it. All right, let me see if I can get this one started now. Come on. There it goes. Yay. Okay, let me see if it'll splot. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do like a, just a random splotty. Heck. 
if anyone knows where this is going. <laughs> okay, that'll do. All right, splottage. Now, granted it's only white, but that's okay. We'll go with it. That's <laughs> what we can work with today. Let's have to see what we can get. Okay, random splottage. All right, that's... Now, what's next? Let's scoot that down. 91. Let me see what that is on my list. I don't know which page it's on. Um, oh, oh. Gotta do this one. Okay. 91 is add drippage. Ooh, dripping I can do. Dripping. Okay. Let's see. Oh, where's my ink? Let me see. Here's. Okay. Ink. All right. Ooh, let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with those two. All right. I love dripping. <laughs> okay, now I gotta shake these up. Let's shake everything. Arms getting to work out today. <laughs> All right, so dripping. Now we're going to drip in. Let's see, how do we want to trip? And it's probably going to pick up some of this because it's wet, but that's okay. So I'm just going to see how this is going to work out. I need a spray bottle of water. That'll do. All right, now let's see. Get some fun plants in here too. All right, so we need more. Drippy, drippy. And some of the blue. So what I've got is purple and blue, well violet and blue. These are the FW acrylics. And I'm just gonna wanna see what's gonna happen with some of this ribbage. And then I'll do a little spray of water across the top. Oop, try not to spray the computer, thank you very much. And let's see where we can get this to go. Drippy, drippy. And it's curling at the top. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, fun. Drippy, drippy. Okay, I like that. That's kind of cool. Let's see. I think down here, I might want to let it go crazy. There. Oh, I like the way that that trickles out. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I know it didn't say spray with water, but hey, <laughs> my interpretation. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need to dry this. Obviously, let me close these inks before I get them or I dump them. That would not be a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to dry this. <laughs> I think that's fun. And it kind of dripped into the splots. That's kind of neat. I like that. Yeah, this might take a minute. <laughs> Whatever the noisy car engines. A lot of people have today off apparently. Lots of noise in the neighborhood. And we live on a corner. <laughs> it's like it's twice as much noise. Yeah, I really don't want to dab on this at all. I just want it to dry like that. I 
Okay, so I'm going to try to stick with this color thing if I can. I really don't want to dab it, so I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to dry it like this. Hot. Speaking of weather, <laughs> oh man, it's warm again. Now we've had more rain, which is a good thing, especially for the peaches. I had a nice peach crop this year. Last year, ah, peaches were terrible. Close, getting close. I may have to uh, go ahead and get that one. That's a really, really, really wet spot. That one. Let's speed this up just a little bit. Yeah, that didn't do any harm. Okay, good. <laughs> I've also been um, dabbing with a piece of muslin. So I'm going to have some nice fabric. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Okay, maybe that's dry enough. No, let's see. There's a couple more really, really wet spots. I'm going to go ahead and get them. Okay, that's probably good enough. Because I have no idea what comes next. If I need to dry more, I will. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, I'm going to set that down on its corkboard. Okay, that's 91. Next, let's see what we have. We have, whoops. 60. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's see. This page. 60. Carve your own stamp and use it. Hmm. Let me see. Um, well, I don't have time to carve a stamp, but I do have some that I have done. Let's try to think of where they might be. Hmm. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm digging over here. I did a bunch of pencil erasers, but I can only find one. And now I've got some of the white, the little white uh, block erasers. I know I've done some. Hang on just a second. I gotta go to the drawer over here. Oh, no, I don't. Here it is. In this little box. Under these things. Okay, oh, here we go. There we go. Yay! And, okay, that'll do. All right. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Didn't take too long to find them. All right, ink pad will be good. Let's see. I don't know if I want black or white. Hmm. Let's see. I like the white and craft. Go off that a little bit. And oh, put this under here. Okay, paper's sticking. Hang on. I'm going to be able to move it. Okay, I might want to switch that one out. That's really what. Get a fresh piece. up there. Okay. All right, let me see if I use, well, I don't think I'm going to worry about that little one right now. I don't have the full set. 
Okay, so here's four stamps that I found real quick. <laughs> and let's see, I'm thinking I might want to use white paint, but I might have to go with the thick, thicker body paint. So I'm going to move these guys out of the way. Okay, and white paint. There we go. Okay, white paint. This is heavy body acrylic. And I'm going to use one of these scraps to flatten it out on my paper flake palette so I can dip the stamp into it. Hang on to that. And let's go with leaves. I did a little, little spray of leaves there. So let's see how this is going to work out. Okay, I think I'm going to go like that and like that. Okay, again. Interesting. When I pull it up, it makes that texture. And hopefully that will come out on the stamp. Oop, it skidded a little bit. I got too much paint. A little bit long. Let's see, let's have one going up here. Oh, it's skidding. I have to be careful about that. I think I put the paint a little too thick in that one spot. I keep, I keep going there. <laughs> yeah, it keeps skidding. Just have to be a little careful. Of course, I could get off on the on the newsprint first, and then just anywhere. Yeah, to have it off on the newsprint first, that seems to work a little bit better for me. It's not skidding so much. Okay, and let's do one more right there. Random over here. Okay, now I need to stick that in some water. Do I have put water in? Um, hang on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll take this little. This is from um, HP ink cartridge. They, they come with two little trays. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there with some paint water and I have that label for painting so I don't drink it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna leave that in there. Put that down somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna set this over here so I don't knock it over. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Um let's see. Oh here we go. This one says art so I'm just gonna stick with the white paint. I like the white like paint, that's pretty cool. And since this is the flap that goes over, I think I'm going to put it right there. Geez, I made that in 2003. Holy cow. <laughs> I forgot to tap it off on the paper first. Slipped a little bit. Tap it off, and then I'm going to come over here. I think, well, let me go upside down because this folds up. Right, right. Where do I want to put it? How about right there? Okay, good enough. All right, and I think I want one more. I do things in uneven numbers. Tap that off over there, and I think I want to put one. Oh, how about right there? Okay. Hey, this kind of looks like trees and branches, right? That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, put that one in the water. Okay, um, I don't think I want to use that one, but I might want to use a little puzzle piece just for for the small. Let's see if I can get it to point for me just because it's little. Oh, I forgot to tap on the paper again. Darn it. <laughs> paper. Okay, that's enough. Now I'll put that one in the water, and I'll get the toothbrush after those later. 
get it down in there. All right. Okay, dry hands. Okay. <laughs> Easter pie. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this somewhere where I'm not going to lean in it. All right, go there. Just open a drawer and stick it down. Okay. All right. Got that one. Next. Let's see. 43. Okay, what's 43 on my list? Pages add on. Whoops. Second page. Second page. Second page. 43. Take a nature walk in the yard. Glue something you find down. Um. Okay. I don't have time to take a nature walk. However, I did take one. And put stuff in a baggie. It's in my alphabetica file cabinet drawer, I think. Okay, let me go over here and see. In one of these folders, uh, I'm not sure which one. Let's see. Let me pull one out. Bring it over here and we'll have a look. Let's see if it's in here. Other stuff in here. Wow, tons of other stuff in here. Envelopes. Hello, sheep. Tags off my new jeans. I love these jeans. Oh, awesome. Boy, I like her. She's pretty. Okay. Yeah, Tatanka goes with that one. Love that. Okay. Um, apparently there's no, oh, nope, that's not the right envelope. That's left over from the oatmeal canister I covered. Next folder. There's still room in that drawer. I'm amazed. Okay. This one is mostly stuff in it for my daily planner. The documented life planner. Ooh, quick faces, cute. Forgot about that. There's some cool stuff. Uh, not what I'm looking for. Jimmy John's, not today. Uh, oh, here we go. Ha! There it is. That's what I was looking for. Shove that back in the drawer. Okay. Short nature walk in the front yard, July 9th of last year. So I've got mockingbird feathers. <laughs> and what is in here? Oh, okay. So I have a couple of twigs. All right, I've got a couple of twigs. I've got a mockingbird feather. I've got a, uh, there's a blue jay feather somewhere. Might be in the other baggie that was in there. Um, the grackle feather. But I think I want to go with the feathers. That that seems to be a, what my most of my pile is. So let me see which ones I want to use. Come on, all the feathers out. We have lots of birds because we have big trees. Okay, I like the black and white feathers. So I think I'm going to put these little guys back in here. I like the black and white ones. Of course, this is going to be... Oh, here's the blue jay feather. There it is. Got a little blue on that edge right there. That's the blue jay feather. It's a little feathers with the white tips, but I like the mockingbird feather and the blue jay feather. With that little bit of blue. Let's see I don't want to do this. Um, okay, so when I have this folded, okay, let me tuck this back in here as well. Try to keep it from falling. All right, so I've got my three feathers. Let's see. Let me look at this. It's still sticking to all the paper. Really, really wet under there. Okay. I can always, I think I might put some uh, scrapbook paper or something up there. Okay, so when this is folded, Okay, it's going to be like this. It's going to go like this. Like this and like this. So the feathers... Oh, look, it got art there twice. Hey, that was cool. Um, okay, so the feathers... 
Let me see, how can I do the feathers? You know what I might have to do, since this is going to travel, what I might have to do is make this an attachment to go on there. Okay, let me get washi tape. For some reason, washi tape pops into my head. I know it doesn't say use washi tape, but I have to um, put these feathers together somehow. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's silver. I don't have any blue. I have no blue washi tape. That's weird. Red, no, not that one. Hmm. Dots, no. Pink, no. Can't seem to find one I like. Picked up the silver one first, so let's go with that one. All right. <laughs> Move there. Oh, I set that right in that big spot of ink. Ew. <laughs> Messy box. Oh, well, that's okay. Oops, that kind of tore there. That's not good. I feel like I love losing to get this tape. Okay, so I think what I want to do is try to do it like floral tape. And uh, it may not work, but I can always take it off, right? Okay, so I'm going to weave it through. Piece on the top, piece on the bottom. If I could get it to sit where I wanted it, here I know, put this one on next. It like that, and then, oh, this is crazy. Let's see if I can get them to lay the way I want them to with this washi tape on the back. If I can get them together, then I can stick them on the page. <laughs> and then I need a couple of little ones to go in the, in the front. I get the idea. Oh, wait, where's my... Where's it going to go? I don't know if I want it here. Or if I want to put it maybe there. I don't really know. Okay. Um, okay, I reserve the right to attach these later. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is recording. I double check that myself there. Yeah. Button is still going. This is part two. Okay, so I'm going to play with this and I'm going to make it um, like a little. Um, I'm going to put some ribbon and, and make it like a little uh, attachment and maybe put it on an alligator clip on the um, on the elastic thing. Maybe that's what I'll do with that, okay? Because this is, it's too, um, it's impossible. It's too chunky and too 3D to do this right now. So I'm going to reserve the right to add this later, okay? Okay, I'm going to set it over here by the pencil, okay? Um, all right, so now I know where that's sort of going to go. Okay, got that in my head. All right, I'll keep the tape over there. Oh, I have little feathers floating around. Let me catch that one. It's right in my line of vision. Okay, I'm going to put this down over here. So I don't have more feathers flying around. <laughs> ah, birds in the room. Okay, feathers and leaves. All right, um, let's see. Okay. Next. All right, 43. Done that. Okay, next number is 105. Okay, let's see what the heck that is. Um, go to the back page. Let's see, I'm not sure which. No, yeah, it's on the back page. Okay, so listen, 105. Use staples as a design element or border. Oh, I put that one in. Oh, uh, let's see. Staples as a design element. Okay, I need my tiny attacher, the real tiny attacher. The tiny, tiny, tiny attacher. Hopefully it's got staples in it. <laughs> Let me see. Oops. Oh, it doesn't have very many. Okay, let me get that. Oh, there it is. It popped out. There was some. Okay, so let me go ahead and see if I can get these in the right way. Heck, I always forget how they go in. Darn. Equipment malfunction. Hang on, folks. 
I just forget which way they go. Do they go this way? I think. Do they go that way? Yeah, I think they do go that way. Okay, I can't have that second piece in there. It doesn't want to stay. Okay, I think I have it in the right. Let me test it over here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so a design element on the edge. Okay, so I think then I will do the edge of these and maybe we'll do a chevron if I can get it to work. Because that's probably the only way that's going to, yeah, okay. It's the only way the circle is going to fit, for one thing. Unless I just make it look like stitches, a straight line. But I like the chevron thing. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now see that? There. Get the light just right. Let's see that chevron thing. <laughs> okay, so let me do this edge. And this will be the front flaps, so it will show. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Awkward. I have to do it when I'm handed. Okay, we're doing a challenge for me, left-handed. Ah. <laughs> and the tiny attacher still functions. A little unsteady, put it that way, but working on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm much better right-handed. One more, I'm going to do it. Maybe this way. Maybe. If I can get it to work. Let's see. Yeah. I think it'll work. And I'm not stapling on the fold line because that would be, just be bad. <laughs> I think if that one turned good. There we go. Messed up my chevron. And one more. Okay. Okay, so I've got four places with staples. Okay, interesting. Put that down. Okay, so, okay, did that. Next. <laughs> 23. 23, that's how to the first page. Use Prismacolor pencils. Okay, or color pencils of any type. Okay, so let's see. I've got my color pencils right here. Let's see if I can get some colors I'm going to use. thought it was a normal purple. That is sepia. We'll start here and we'll see what we're going to do. I have no idea, even. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to go, right, let's go around the A with blue. Yeah, so I'm still white. It's okay, I told Mama I might be inky when she gets here. <laughs> she just laughed. This is fun, guys. <laughs> I'm going to over that ink real well, but there it is. Let's see. Here's one word. You can still see it some. Hopefully, I'm in camera. Okay. 
And I'm just sketchily doing it. I'm not trying to do anything in particular. Just wanting it to stand out a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I had three. Okay, good. All right, there's the word art. Okay, so now let's do some green around the leaves. Just because they're green leaves. I gotta say, I love this ink. The acrylic ink is fun. Um, and all Eileen's recommendation, thank you, ET. And I'm taking uh, Natalie Callback's, um, or Callback, I don't know how you pronounce her name, um, acrylic ink class, online class. Haven't started it yet, but I've got all my supplies. So we're waiting for time. Not really drawing, guys, just sketchily outlining. Stand. And this is normally how I work with pencils in my hand. one. I don't know if I want any green on the inside of that or not. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. I can always add detail later. As long as I know where I'm going with it, I'm good. Okay. All right, I think we got all the leaves. Oh, let's see. I don't know that I really want to do anything else with a colored pencil. So maybe I'll outline the puzzle piece a little bit. In case y'all didn't know what that was, it's a little tiny puzzle piece. I love jigsaw puzzles. Love the jigsaw puzzles. Oh, there's one. Get a little purple in there. Make those stand out just a little bit. That may not show up. Nope, it isn't, but that's okay. And here. There's one. And I think that's all of them. Okay, good enough. All right, so I'm going to put the pencils down. I think that's all I want to do. Wait, where's that green? I had a dark green. Okay. Let me see if I want to do anything like maybe that. Yeah, okay. I'll, I can do that later. Alright. Good. Okay, so that was 23. I don't think I want to do anything else with a colored pencil. So maybe do some of the veining in the leaves, but I can do that later. No, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. You know how it is when you say you're going to do something later and you never get around to it? Ah, let's just do it now. It didn't take that long. Just do it. That's my new motto, just do it. Especially when it comes to 
food and exercise. Just do it. So now I'm going to have to do a just do it page. <laughs> Sharpening. I'm trying to go over this texture in the paint and it's killing the pencil tip. This one. I knew there was one more. Last one. And now it's done. I don't have to do it later. Yay. Okay. Woohoo. All right. <laughs> the leaves have veins. Okay. Yay. Woo. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're on to something else. Okay. So we've done 23. I got oops, let me go ahead. One, two, three, four. I got four left. One twenty-one. Okay, what the heck is that? This one. Let's see. One twenty-one. It should be on the last page. Use circles. Oh fun. Oh yay. Now I can show you guys something. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this for weeks now. Just haven't been able to get around to it. Okay, circles. All right. Here's a here's a thing. Another way to use your magazines. Okay. Punch circles out of the clothing. Okay. Wee. And you can take your your pick on you know which side you want to use. But here's some like blue and purple. And this is done with a, this little scallop punch, which uh, is a paper studio punch, and that's the size it makes. Little scallop circle, it's very cute. About an inch and something, inch and a quarter, something like that. But anyway, just go in your your clothing catalogs, okay, and just punch stuff out. Just use all kinds. Of, see, there's a you know a bird. Uh, just all kinds of colors. You don't have to paint anything. Just do, you know, use your magazines. Okay, just take your, you know, take your uh, your punch and go to your magazine and say, uh, I like this purpley white splot over here, this lavender and white splot. See, yeah. See what it looks like? And then it looks like you painted something. So, there you go. Tip for you. Now I can put this stuff away. <laughs> I wanted to show you that so I can left it out. You know? <laughs> so now I can put it away. Okay, now I can go through my circles and see if there's anything I want to put on here. Instead of painting circles, let's see if I can. Uh, ooh, ooh, there's some lace. That's pretty. So I want. I think I want to kind of keep the uh, blue purple theme going. So I like that one. Don't like those so much. Not so much green. No, I don't like that. And I'm kind of wanting to keep kind of a soft-spoken thing going here. Let's straighten too, too much, too much, too much. Perfect. No, not really. 
black and white, no. So I kind of like that. So if I have anything else that's already punched, some words. That might be nice. Uh, and just it's all kinds of things I've punched from catalogs, whether it be background, like this was a counterpane quilt. So I've got pieces from a counterpane quilt. So draperies, somebody else's paintings, <laughs> you know, all kinds of things. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh -uh. More lace. You do different sizes. And so, you know, you really don't have to do anything to them if you don't want to. You can stamp on them. Soft screen. No, maybe not. There's all kinds of inspiration when you, when you put a little circle on a page and you kind of blot out everything else. It's amazing what you see. Yeah, don't forget to go on the other side. Oh, there's some flowers. I don't want those. I don't want that one. I kind of want to stick with this color theme. Not too much. Maybe those will go on the inside. I'm going to do the inside. Like a, a seam, you know, <laughs> the edge of a dress. Don't forget to look at the men's stuff, too, you know. Sometimes their shirts have nice patterns. Flower. I think that'll do. Oh, that's cute. Got part of a necklace and a flower. That was neat. Okay, so let me go with what I've got right here. Set that behind me and see what I can do with these guys. Hmm. I don't know, I'm liking the monochromatic type thing I got going on here. Right there. No, I don't like that one. Don't know about the flower. Maybe that one. Okay, let's see what I can do with that. And they don't have to be this big. You can always make them smaller. But I'm thinking I can journal on these spots. Because they're light, I can journal on them. I don't want to put it on the fold. Okay, so let me put it here. And I think I like where that is. I like where that is. I like where that is. Okay, I think I'm going to glue those down. Alright, let me get my matte medium brush. And my matte medium. And yes, I'm doing this too. Thank you very much, Carol. <laughs> Oh, bye, Kathy. Thanks for hanging out. It's amazing. This matte medium brush still looks good. <laughs> Been in the water forever. Okay. Oh, people don't start honking horns. That's rude. Oh dear, kids on the loose. Oops. Let's see, where am I going to put this? I need something to put that in now. Ah. Another. Get that a little uh, thing to the rescue one. Love these little tray things. Nice. Very nice. Okay, oh no, where did I have this? Oh, right there. <laughs> I forgot. I think it was right here. 
no, that's where it's going to live. Right there. And I may end up coating this whole thing with matte medium. We'll see how it goes. But if I do it this way, then I'll be able to write on top of them with no problem. Okay, so far so good. Stick, stick. tell you what, sometimes you just have to wonder. Hold still. Stay where I'm on here. One more. And I can journal in these guys. Okay. Circles. <laughs> this stuff with my fingers. I don't want to be sticking to everything. Okay. Oh, I forgot to glue that one down. Oh, that's okay. I'll do it later. Nope. I won't do it later. What did I just say? <laughs> Don't do it later. Do it now. <laughs> just do it, right? Just do it. Okay. Just do it. <laughs> Missed one. All right, got him. Now, I think that's the last one. <laughs> Which we'll be off again. <laughs> okay, so here's what we have so far. Now I think there's three more to go. Okay, got most of the glue off. All right. Okay, 121 circles. Okay, next one is 28. That's on um, page 28. Add a tag. Oh, add a tag. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if I have anything in my roller decks I can make a tag from. Scraps. Oh look! Ha! Here we go. Okay, let's use. We'll use 
this. With this is what I'm gonna back it up with. Hmm. My Rolodex is getting a little low. So let me get, oh, here we go. I've got some tags here. These are seven gypsy tags. I'm gonna grab one of these and put this leaf on it. So I made these leaves, Um. oh gosh, back when I did those little mini clipboards that are over there on the wall. Uh, I had a leaf left. So I think I might want to use one of these. That one. Ah, people honking horns. What is up with that? Oh, I like that one. It's got a bicycle on it. <laughs> I'm taking my bike on vacation. Yay. Okay. I'm not sure when we're going on vacation, but uh, we're going. Okay, so this already has a uh, Xyron on the back, so I'm going to go ahead and peel it and then stick it on here, and I'm going to get some ink for the edges. And then I need a brad. I think I see them. Okay, so that and the recycling. So I'm going to go ahead and put the leaf on like this. Alright, and I'm going to get some ink. Oh, I know where some blue is that I want to use. I think it's in here. Oops. Sorry, bumped the camera again. Where's the, oh, that's turquoise. That's not what I wanted. Okay, scratch that. Not that box. <laughs> Go over to the ink shelf. And let's get some broken china. I know I like broken china. It's one of my favorites. So, some distress ink. And I'm not sure if that's its dauber or not, but we'll make that one its dauber. Okay, so I've got some chunky stuff in there, some crumbs. That's not good. Okay, so I'm going to do the edges. I must have just refilled that one. It's very juicy. Okay, how about we go for a decorative brad, which is on this side of the room. Here we go. Ooh, a Teresa calling. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's get one of these text ones. Too small because the hole in that tag is kind of big. Did I get the right one? Yeah, I got it. It's coming. It's coming. Ah, there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
That's a little awkward. All right, so that's going to go right there. And then I have to decide where I'm going to put it. Okay, let me fold it up. Keeping in mind, I want my feathers on the band. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my tag up here and let it so it can move if I want it to. Okay, pokey tool. Pokey tool. All right, so let me see. Ah, pick it up. Okay, I think I'm going to just put it right there. Just do it. <laughs> Two hands. Of course, I'll have to take it off when I cover the inside and repoke the hole, but you know, you'll get that right. Okie dokie. So there's that. Close the pokey tool before we poke ourselves. Next, oh, two more. 62. Okay, let's see what 62 is. It's upside down. Can't it. 50, 62. Cut text paper into hearts. Cut text paper into hearts. Text paper, text paper. Okay, back to the folder. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Dictionary paper. That's good. It's already got some color on it. That'll work. And if I don't want color, that'll work. All right. I love having a mix of things out. Okay, so scissors. Too big. I'm cutting down. Too big. Too fat. Let's make him skinnier and smaller. There we go. Okay. Let me see where I'm gonna make these guys to go. Do I want do I want no color? Or do I want color? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. One no color, one with color? Maybe. That might work. Make a little like, cluster right there, then I can write on top of that. That work. And do one more, I think. I think I'm going to use a glue stick if I can find one close to hand. 
doesn't work. Oop. Fly away. Okay, so I'm going to it this way though. Because that would be upside down. To everything. Wait, wait, come out. <laughs> yeah, I want it on the tag. There we go, because I want the tag to move. Okay. Parts in place. Okay, that was uh, hearts out of text paper, and one last one is 87. 87. Let's see what that is. 87 is we have strips of magazines together. Strips of magazines. Hmm. Okay, let me grab a magazine out of the stack. Oh, it's a catalog. No, it's a magazine. All right, let me get a magazine. All right, I just grabbed one. Oh. <laughs> October issue with a kitty on the front. How cute! <laughs> I love the kitty. He's so cute. Okay, so let me see if I can find something similar in color to what I've already got going on just by thumbing through. There's blue. There you go. There's blue. Don't want the macaroni, but or spaghetti or whatever that is. But I want something to go with the blue. Not gonna take too long here. What does that say? Dinner starts here. <laughs> That'd be good to go in my food journal. I have to keep a food journal, so that would be good to go in the food journal. I'm going to uh, mark that. Green tree. Now, boring. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Boy, some dark pictures in here. How about some lavender or violet or something? This might have been a bad choice. <laughs> I'm not getting much in the way of color. Well, there's a darker blue, so I'm going to pull this out. I have to go with that. Come on. Oh, it's a thicker page. Wouldn't flip. I'm almost done, guys. This is the last one. Oh, okay. Bye, Dee Dee. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> oh, hey, there's one. Okay, there we go. That'll work. We'll go with these two. I'm liking the jewel tones. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is get bigger scissors. And I'm going to... You know, it doesn't say what to do with them. Or what to do with this. So it's up to my interpretation. Okay, I'm going to cut off those words because I really don't need all those words there. And let's see if I can do something with this. I'll go ahead and cut that right there. Set that aside. And then I'm just going to start doing this.
cutting them both at the same time, just for a little speed. And we're going wonky. We are really wonky. Because I don't know if I might make a pocket. Maybe that's what I do. Might make a pocket. Okay. So I'm going to have to move this paper. I need to get to my um, craft sheet for the anti stick. <laughs> so I need to move my under sheets out of the way. So I can leave this paper. Okay, now I can remember how to do this, doing two at a time. See if I remember how this works. Put that back that way, and this goes this way if I'm doing it right. That one stays. Let's see. This one goes back. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Let's see. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. It's on the edge and I want it wonkier than that. So we'll do it this way. Okay, so everything goes back except that one. If I'm remembering this right. Okay, so you set everything back over there and then you go put these down and then you have to weave this one and go put, put these wait these go back the opposite ones talking to myself through this because I haven't done it in a while there's a way <laughs> okay like that All right then you bring these back down okay and then you take the opposite ones up again. And then you lay that one down. And then those go back down. Yeah, okay, like that. All right, and that one. No, that doesn't go there. Never mind, that doesn't go there. All right, and then the opposite ones again. Let's go back. I'm kind of hold them. The next one comes down, and then all those go forward. Okay, and then the next one, yeah, back opposite again. Yeah, that's how you do it. I knew there was a quicker way. And yes, that'd be it. Like that. Again, opposite again, and uneven numbers helps. <laughs> and then the last one is a little trickier because you gotta scooch it up by itself. Over under, over and under if it reaches all the way down. Okay, so. Not exactly what I wanted, but that's the quick way to read paper. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is the quickest way to do it. All right, now I'm going to get some packing tape. Ah, that's what I meant. Packing tape, yes. Okay, now hopefully I won't do the I Love Lucy thing with this. All right, so I'm going to put some strips of packing tape on the front. I don't know where I'm going with this, but um, we shall see. Okay, so ha, down. <laughs> I'm just going for it. I think I'm gonna make a pocket. It didn't tell me what to do with it, it just said leave some paper. So weaving paper I have done. Alright, now let me pick it up. Their side's mostly gray. Kellogg's. Yuck. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and trim 
the excess tape off. And I'm still thinking I'll make some kind of pocket. Maybe a little wonky, but that's okay. We'll go with that. Let's see let's if I can at least get semi straight on this part. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll put that in the bin. All right, so now I've got a pocket, and that's the quick way to do paper weaving and get it done. I don't like all the words there, but, you know, the colors are there, which is what, what I like. Okay, so I could make a pocket out of this. I would just fold it. and fold it and put score tape on the edges which I'm not going to do right now because it goes on the inside where it, which isn't covered yet so I will put this pocket on later and I might go ahead and line the inside of the pocket just because whatever I put in it's going to catch on all the paper strips so I think I'm going to go ahead and um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this there. Just go ahead and use the packing tape. Yeah, this is the quickest way. Get it done, people. Get it done. <laughs> quickest way. Oh, this thing's noisy. Piece. Okay, I can move it before I tape something I don't want to. I have arguments with this stuff all the time. Okay, there we go. So it's like a laminated piece of weaving. Alright. And I'll cut the excess off and all that. And then that will be a pocket. I'm not going to go ahead and finish it, but that's going to be the pocket that goes on the inside. Okay. <laughs> what about the tape? What? Oh yeah, we've uh, we've strip we've magazine pages. That's basically what it said. It doesn't say what to do with it once you did it. So I'm just going to make a pocket for the inside of the folder. Because, you know, once it's folded down a little bit, it'll make a nice pocket to go right on the inside. So that'll work. Okay, so there we go. Challenge finished. I'll be adding stuff to this and putting the pocket on the inside. But there we are. We're done. Yay. <laughs> so I'll be covering the inside. I'm just going to cover it with paper. Just get some scrapbook paper and just cover it up. And uh, then the. I don't know what I do with the book. Oh, please. <laughs> I lost the book. Anyway, these guys will go in here. Like so. And the band will go on. And when I finish my little feather bouquet, that will go on right there. I finish it off. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yay. All right. Oh, sorry about the tape. <laughs> Woo. But, okay. List challenge done. <laughs> so here's, here's my, uh, my list. So what I've done is I've added some things and revised it a little bit for me and then I spaced it out so that I can cut them apart and put them in a jar when I get tired of doing the random.org thing. But I really like the random.org thing. Thanks guys. <laughs> Lots of fun. All right. Now I'm going to go have my water burger. My last water burger for a while. 
because for the next three months I am going to be on a food plan that does not say I can eat hamburgers. <laughs> okay. All right. Y'all have a great weekend. I will uh, talk at you later. Bye. Thanks for hanging out.